feel? Uh, I felt great, obviously. I mean, first of all, to win the game and, and uh, you know, battle back and forth. I mean, Caden hit that one to, to give us energy in the lead. Then they come back, and uh, to just seal that win was just was just something huge for us. So, I mean, it was just a big energy moment. I think you fell behind 1-2, and you fell off a pitch, and then you hit the home run. Uh, what, those, those two pitches, what, what did you see right there, and then that's messing up the pitch that you get to win it? Um, uh, the first strike was right on the outside corner. It was just a fastball. Um, I was sitting fastball. And then I took a you know pretty ugly swing the next swing, so I just kind of stepped out and cleared my head and, and uh, kind of had to – Get myself the battle with two strikes, uh, as always, and uh, you know I ended up getting a curveball kind of up, so I was able to put a good swing on it, and and uh, that's that's kind of how it how it worked. What was the mood and the tug out of that? Is you know the, the game was swinging back and forth, the grand slam, and then they scored two. Uh, I mean, what, what was the mood like? Um, I mean, they were a tough team. They they you know may may not have been as talented as us, as us but they they were a tough group of guys, and uh, for them to kind of you know, take the energy back into their dugout after Caden hit that home run was just was just something that's you know, as the opposing team does that never wants to see and um, you know so it was it was a real gritty win for us uh, I'd say. Chris, just thoughts about Caden, you know, back to back days, grand slams. So what what do you think about him and how he's doing? I think he's nasty and uh, <laughs> he's fun to play with. So uh, you know, I'm gonna enjoy this year with him. It's, it's very exciting. Caden, your grand slam in the bottom of the eighth. How'd that feel? And then did it feel a little, a little depressing, I guess, in the ninth where it didn't really matter anymore? You guys had to come back up. I mean, it mattered, but, you know. Right. Uh, I was just excited, and I knew, like, that I was going to get the job done. And I was just trying to barrel the baseball. And, you know, when they came back, you know, we, we just knew that we had another chance to hit, and that we could get it done. So, And Chris obviously got it done and started off with Michael. Uh, for either of you, this is twice now in the series where you guys had a big eighth inning, two out rally, but got you back into the game. Uh, what do you think that says about the lineup and, and where you guys are offensively right now? Um, I mean, I think it's just a sign of a tough team. We know we're talented, but um, kind of just just shows that we're, we're a bunch of tough guys playing baseball. So it's very good, very good for uh, moving forward. I agree. I feel like we're never out of it with anybody because anybody one through nine can spark the lineup, and once it sparks, it's just hard to stop us. Grand slams are pretty rare uh, to have two in two days. I wonder what your feelings are. Have you ever had two in a season at any level before? I'm, I'm not sure. I don't think so. Not in any like high level, yeah. but you know, I'm just just trying to barrel baseballs and just do the things for my team and just lucking out. You're getting leadoff now, uh, or at least in the series you were. How do you feel hitting leadoff? And and for either of you, if you could talk about what what Caden's you know, leadoff production. Um, I was pretty excited to see that I was in leadoff. Uh, I feel like I can, I can spark it early, and you know I, I feel like there's a lot of guys on this team that can do it and will do it because I feel like it, you know, it might change, might not. But um, you know, I'm just, I know I can take pitches and see the ball up and drive the ball, and you know I just, I just want to get on base for the guys behind me. Yeah, um, going off of that, he he sees a lot of pitches and and he does barrel ball, so. Um, and a guy that's just impossible to strike out. So I, I think he's he's perfect for the role, whether it's first, second, or third. Um, you know, he fits right in. Chris, going going up to bat in the ninth before before you and Michael got up, did you guys talk to each other? You know, say, hey, we're going to be fine. I mean, my, and then just your thoughts on Michael, how he's doing. I mean, he had a great weekend as well. Uh, we didn't say anything. We just gave each other kind of a look. You know, we have confidence in each other and. Uh, you know, it was huge for, for him to get get that double because I mean I didn't have to do a ton to to get him over and and uh, you know just kind of took the pressure off me. So I mean his his role has been huge. Caden, I don't know about you, but these uh, two comeback wins this week kind of felt familiar. This was a non-conference game that you played early last season in terms of you know, late rallies, you know, winning against uh, non-conference team. You see similarities uh, between those games and. and maybe this team and, and what last year's team was able to do so late in so many games? Absolutely. I mean, last year we were really a tough team, really talented team. And honestly, I think this year we're even tougher and even better. And I know, like, we haven't been that great offensively throughout the year, but I think that our guys are really stepping up and being comfortable. And, uh, you know, we, we have confidence with everybody that goes to the plate now.
And uh, I think it's just been like a relief off her back, just knowing that everybody can do it. And then Chris, uh, uh, Coach Van Horn was saying today that he thinks that you know sometimes with returning players, there can be uh, you know pressure on them, you know, to live up to what they've done in the past. He said that uh, with players like you and, and Michael with the transfers coming in, a lot of times he feels like you know, you're just playing loose. So I wonder what you think about that and uh, just what this season's been like uh, having a, a fresh start somewhere new this year. Yeah, I mean, I. I uh really don't know about any of that. I'm just kind of coming in here. It's just kind of, I've never played or even seen a place like this with baseball. So I'm just super grateful to be here. I'm kind of trying to live every day like that. And uh, it kind of helps me on the field just to, to play hard every play. And, and uh, that's, that's really all I can control. Okay, Chris, I appreciate it. <coughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.